Okay, this is gonna be a very different video and let me just explain why. This is the video for my Twitch community, twitch.tv slash Nick underscore talks. You guys should definitely go check it out. Hit that follow button on Twitch and uh, come and hang out with our community over there. We do have some people over from YouTube that have, that have been over on Twitch. Uh, I stream on Twitch. I try to stream at least four times a week. It's kind of my new format to live streaming. We talk about movies over there. We talk about entertainment. We talk about sports. We kind of just have more of a casual type of conversation. And I play a lot of Pokemon. That's right, I play a ton of Pokemon. I shiny hunt in Pokemon, I play Pokemon Snap. I also, from time to time, play Star Wars games, but I'm trying to incorporate more of a Star Wars feel into my community over on Twitch. And this is a video specifically for them. If you wanna turn this video off, I completely understand. Go watch one of my other videos if you are new, because I usually post content that is more based around film and television and entertainment. But I met a goal. I told my community if we hit 600 subscribers, if they would help me get to 600 subscribers, then this month I would do a review of a Pokemon movie that I've never seen before. And that's what happened. We reached 600 subscribers and I'm a man of my word. So this is a video for that specific community. But if you like Pokemon as well, and you're here and you're just finding out that I like Pokemon, again, go follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Nick underscore talks. We're building an awesome community there. Help us continue to get closer and closer to 1,000 followers over on Twitch. But anyway, I don't watch a lot of Pokemon content, to be honest. This is the first movie I've seen of Pokemon or anything Pokemon since probably like Pokemon 2000 or whatever it was called, the one with Entei. Yeah, that's the last Pokemon movie that I remembered and the last Pokemon type of content that I watched. And so I went into Pokemon Black and White, the movie, Victini and Zekrom, really understanding what it was going to be. And I chose this movie specifically because I love Victini. Victini is my favorite mythical Pokemon of all time. It's so cute. And in this movie, Victini truly is cute. I mean, you can't, you cannot not love Victini. Just such a cute Pokemon that I love having uh, myself. I do have a, a Victini, which is really cool, uh, that I got from Pogo. That's in my Pokemon Sword and Shield playthrough right now. So yeah, I love Victini. And this is a story that's very simple. The world is coming to an end. And Ash and Pikachu and his friends must unite and save the region. Um, <laughs> that's, that's really what it is. That's, that's, that's the movie in a nutshell. I mean, that's every movie of Pokemon. This movie was everything I thought it was going to be. I knew it was going to be really more garnered towards a younger audience. And I knew that it was going to be something that I could have fun with. There's gonna be a lot of Pokemon. This is really a movie that showcases gen Generation 5 and the Pokemon that inhabit Generation 5. Uh, everything from Uniqueless to Bufalant to pretty much everything that we've seen in Gen 5 up to this point, uh, as well as Victini, Reshiram, and Zekrom. Now, I thought this was going to be centered on Zekrom specifically, but there is a, a lot more Reshiram in this movie than I thought originally. Now there's two different versions of this movie. There's like Pokemon Black, the movie, which is Reshiram and Victini. And then there's this one, which is Pokemon White, which is Zekrom and Victini. They're the same thing. That's, that's what I've heard from numerous people. It's the same movie. It's just the, the hero at the end is, is either Zekrom or Reshiram. That's kind of how it goes. I Saw everything coming a mile away. I knew where this movie was going. It had no surprises. Did it leave me bored? I mean, no, not really. Would I say that I love Pokemon content now and I want to keep watching? No, no. I, I like the games preferably. I just, I find more enjoyment out of those. And granted, when I was younger, uh, for me, I watched more Yu-Gi-Oh than I did Pokemon, if I'm going to be completely honest and transparent. Like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh and Beyblade, those are my shows, man. I love those shows. I couldn't wait for Saturday morning cartoons to be able to watch those. And Pokemon, I kind of always usually slept through. And I remember that was like the first one that would come out. And then you'd have Yu-Gi-Oh and Beyblade. But I made sure I always woke up in time for Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, which I love that anime. 
And uh, the Pokemon anime is beloved. I mean, Ash is still 10 after like 20 years. So, I mean, that's cool, right? I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know, he's, he's gonna be 10 forever. And that's interesting. It's interesting. I don't feel like there's actually a calendar or a time in Pokemon. I feel like they just live in an eternal loop every single day is exactly the same but they explore different regions he meets different friends that are very similar i mean simon is basically brock but brock is way cooler i, I actually kind of found simon to be annoying at times because he would narrate stuff it's like wow it's so obvious simon clearly we know what is going on <laughs> But again, I'm not the target audience for this movie, and I feel like there are a lot of people, I know a lot of people who still really love the Pokemon anime, and they still watch it every single week, and that's awesome. I know, it, like, the new season's on Netflix or something, and I'm happy that people really enjoy it. I just love the Pokemon brand itself. I love the games. I've, I always have loved the games. I remember my fond times with Pokemon Emerald, Pokemon Fire Red, and now I've been playing Sword and Shield, and I'm addicted. I'm addicted to shiny hunting, the shiny hunting grind. What... For those of you who don't know what shiny hunting is, it's basically like you do the same thing over and over again. You encounter the same Pokemon over and over again. So basically it's insanity. And you try to get a different colored Mon. Uh, so for example, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what a shiny looks like with Charizard right here. Yeah, you see the difference? Charizard's usually this color, but his shiny is that color. Like, do you see what I mean? It's just aesthetic. There's nothing more to it. I'm happy that I did this video for, for you guys over at the Twitch community. I know you guys are very happy that I finally did a video like this. I've been promising promising you a video like this. And what I do at Twitch, let me just kind of also sell a little bit more of my Twitch. Uh, if you're interested, you know, hit that link down below. If not, that's totally fine, I get it. But over at Twitch, I also try to mix Pokemon and Star Wars, it, you know, Obviously, Star Wars is my favorite thing in the, in, the, in the world, and Pokemon is a video game franchise that I really love. And I like to mix these two together, and we have some really awesome things. We have some great emotes, we have some really, really great stylistic things that we're doing, and we're trying to continually pump out content over on Twitch. Uh, and very soon, I will actually be starting up my own YouTube channel uh, around my Twitch channel. Um, so stay tuned for that. It's in the works. It's been in the works forever, but I'm going to show you a couple of clips of, of what we do over on twitch.tv. No way! No way! Are you kidding? That was cool. Shiny Houndoom. That's like one of the most rare cards you can get. Are you joking me? I think I me? win this. Yeah, I don't think anything I can pull now is good. That's the gold card. Are you serious? What's going on, Random Panda streaming? I don't know if you knew that, but this is last year. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> no freaking way, dude! No way! What is this? What is this, dude? Oh, no way! No way! <laughs> what? Bro! No! 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 What is happening? What is happening? Dude! Are you kidding me? Clip this right now. This is... Do you see this? Do you, this is an ultra rare shiny Reese's. I, I've never seen one on close like this before. I think my brain's gonna melt. I really think my brain's gonna melt right now, guys. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my, oh my gosh. I just, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't believe this just happened. <laughs> my wife, my wife texts me going, congratulations. And I didn't actually get a shiny. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to tell her. I feel so bad. Hold on. No freaking way! No 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 I hate this game! So there you go. I mean, we have some fun over there on Twitch. So again, 
Link down below if you're interested. If you are from my Twitch community, make sure you hit that subscribe button here on YouTube. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. Again, very different video. This is a special video, kind of an event video. And I get it if you're not interested. Like, I totally understand. But if you did watch it, thank you so much. Like, that's crazy to me. Uh, make sure you guys go check out my socials down below. Hit that subscribe button to join this community over here on YouTube. And uh, also, go follow my Twitch. I know I've said that like 800 times and I'm a broken record at this point, so I'll stop saying that. Go follow me on Twitch! <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in my next video. By the way, happy birthday, Pokemon. Pokemon turns 25 this year. That's pretty amazing. Pika Pika. <laughs>